Now this article comes from PC Gamer. I have not fact checked this, but we will operate under the assumption that this is true. There is a new law being passed by California that requires retailers to warn consumers that the digital games they buy can be taken away at any time. It is important to note this law doesn't just apply to games, it applies to music, movies, and other such media. Assembly member Jacqui Irwin, the sponsor of the bill, told Gamefile she was initially prompted to take action by Sony's planned removal of Discovery content from the PlayStation Store because of expiring licenses. So those of you aren't aware, Sony had some licenses that were expiring and they decided that they would just remove the shows and wouldn't allow them to be available for purchase and those who already purchased them would lose access. Sony eventually reversed this decision because of mass backlash, but Irwin still went ahead and introduced the bill. Now the funny thing is, Ubisoft, two months after this bill was introduced, removed access from a game called The Crew, further giving credence to why a bill like this is necessary to be put into law. Now there are three main important points of this bill that must be highlighted. The first is a call to action. This is basically to force developers or distributors to state that hey this digital product that you're purchasing you don't actually own it. You are just licensing the right to be able to use it for a period of time until that is revoked at our whim. This is important because there are existing laws against false advertising which restrict the use of any terms which a reasonable person would understand to confer an unrestricted ownership. Now in this statement there are two things to take note. First, unrestricted ownership. This is in the case as it was in the past where you would own cartridges, you would have unrestricted ownership. No matter what happens, you would still have the cartridge in your possession to use to play the games. You would have DVDs in your possession to use to watch movies. That was unrestricted ownership. With digital products, you don't have that type of ownership. But it is being pitched to people as if that is the type of ownership that they have. So this bill is hoping to expand on those laws to ensure that it is understood by everyone that you do not actually own this digital meter. And the th second point that should be brought to your attention is reasonable person. This does not refer to the Twitter grifters. This refers to the average Joe who isn't well abreast with the situation, who merely just goes onto Netflix, pays some money to watch a movie. That's who the reasonable person is. The person who thinks they own it, but don't own it. Not the person who is going to dick ride for a billion dollar company. Now this brings us to our second point, which is that the digital product in question is free. What does this mean? It doesn't mean that it's free to play. It doesn't mean that it will become free to play. It means that once you purchase the product, you will not have to repurchase it once they make it available for you to play offline. Now what do you mean play offline? Well the third point covers that. The digital product offers a permanent offline download to an external storage source to be used without a connection to the internet. Which means if a game is online such as the crew and they shut down the servers they have to make it available to be played offline. It will also be free for you to download it to play offline and you can uninstall and download it as much as you want without having to pay for the product again. That is what this means. So once more, this is a call to action to state, hey, you don't own this. They can't stuff it into the terms of services. They actually have to, in your face, directly tell you that you don't own this and they can remove ownership from you at any point in time. If they do remove that ownership, they have to provide it to you for free to download whenever you want and they have to make it so you can download it to your own external storage device. So you can play it without a internet connection as much as you like, just like how games were originally, a true ownership. 
Now, that's all that the article covers, and I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. I'd like to hear from you.